Welcome to my office. Today, we're gonna to learn how to put a logo on your 360 degree photos from your mobile device. So a few people asked how I was able to cover up the tripod with my logo in the 360 degree photographs that I posted from my mobile device to Facebook. It's actually quite easy. Let me show you how. Here's a photo I took from my Ricoh Theta S. As you can see, when I pan down, the tripod is slightly visible, looking somewhat like an alien bug. You can easily hide the tripod or nadir of the spherical photo using an image or better yet, your own logo. First, open your 360 degree photo in Photoshop. You can also use GIMP, which is free and has the same tools needed to create a nadir logo. From here, you'll need to determine the widest dimension of your photos. In the case of the Ricoh Theta S, it's 5,376 pixels. Next, create a new square canvas that matches that dimension, 5376 by 5376. Now create your logo on this canvas. Once you've created your logo, you'll have to convert it to equirectangular format. To do that, first rotate the logo 180 degrees. This will ensure that it's facing the viewer when they look down from the initial point of view. Next, go to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. Make sure that Polar to Rectangular is selected. Then rotate the logo 180 degrees again. Finally, we'll need to resize the logo to cover the tripod. Go back to your original 360 degree photo and determine the height in pixels from the bottom of the photo needed to cover the tripod. In my case, it's about 170 pixels. On your logo, go to Image, Image Size. Turn off Constraint Properties and adjust the height only. If you want, you can make it slightly taller to ensure it'll cover the tripod on any of your 360 degree photos. Your logo is now ready to go. Simply export it as a ping and then upload it to your mobile device. In order to add your logo to a 360 degree photo using your mobile device, you'll need a photo compositing app such as Photoshop Mix. From the app, open your 360 degree photo Add your logo as a second layer, and then position your logo at the bottom of your photo. Zoom in as far as you can to make sure your logo lines up with the bottom and side of your photo. Export the composition and that's it. Your 360 degree photo is ready for prime time. Hopefully you found that useful. See you guys next time.